It's 10 o'clock. Good morning. Our news today. Work's already begun on building a new field hospital for Jersey. The Nightingale Hospital is being put on the playing field at Millbrook. Building materials are expected to arrive in the island this weekend. A month ago, the number of COVID-19 cases was increasing every day. The curve was chasing us and we were very concerned. The government asked a small team of us from Health to pull together a scope for a field hospital. In five days, those plans went from concept to a decision that needed to be built. I'll never forget that moment. Things move really fast. Building buildings is what we do. It's what I've known my whole career. It's what our team does on a daily basis. But this, this was different. We had the local knowledge and expertise to deliver a hospital, a place that will have the facilities to care for 180 people, if it comes to it. And we were given a deadline of just 25 days. In any other circumstance, you would have said it was near impossible. But you know, it's remarkable what can be achieved when the chips are down and when everybody pulls together. The build for the Nightingale Wing saw 541 construction workers inducted on site. 83 local subcontractors and suppliers were employed over the 25-day build. Every single one of them came with a can-do attitude. Competitors work together, doing what they needed to be done to get the job done. You can imagine, it was tough at times. Long days and longer nights. But nobody complained, nobody said no, and there was no such word as can't. When we hit problems, we found solutions. We never looked back, we only looked forward. We had a deadline and we had to find a way. And this was a collaboration at every level. There's no compromise when it comes to patient care. We hand over this building in the hope that it won't be needed. But if it is, and the worst comes, we're ready. This has only been made possible because everyone has pulled together. Across every department, they've given their all. They've worked long hours every day while still delivering care at the General Hospital. It's shown what we can achieve together and it's brought out the best in everyone. To think that this building wasn't here three weeks ago, it's just phenomenal. And it's been so humbling and an absolute credit to the talent and skills on this island. It's been exhausting and yet it's been exhilarating. I personally want to say thank you to each and every person involved in the team. From the architects, the engineers, the teams we've worked with at both government and health, but also to the J3 management team and every single construction worker that's been involved on the project. What we have achieved in the last 25 days has taken a huge amount of sacrifice, not just as individuals, but also our families. The kindness of others has been truly overwhelming. When you know people are behind you, we really feel that we're in this together. On behalf of my colleagues, I want to pay tribute to you, the people of this island. By staying at home, we've really made a significant difference. We're so very grateful. Thank you.